Let me uh, get everyone's attention if I could. So, we're gathered today to have lunch and to remember <laughs> Billy. And we're going to um, sort of shift the agenda around a little bit and have our prayer and bless the food first. And Mark Lowe's going to do that for us. And then we'll uh, have some comments and talk about some other things. If you would, pray with me if you would. Precious Heavenly Fathers, we come before you on this wonderful day that we gather together to thank you for the service of such a wonderful, wonderful man and such a wonderful father, leader. We thank you so much for his devotion, God, not just to the local community where he served on the school board, represented the children of this area so greatly. His heart and his passion were with them, and it continued to reflect, Lord, throughout this company and throughout his family as well. We're thankful, Lord, for his service to this state in which he gave tremendously each and every day to see this state a better state. We're thankful, Lord, for his commitment to this company and how well he served the people of this company each and every day. His compassion to them, not just as an owner, not just as a leader, but he loved them as if they were his own. And we're thankful for that as well. We're thankful, Lord, for the great things that he poured into his family and the great example that he was to them and to each one of us. And Father, we just are truly blessed to have gotten to know Him in this life. And we ask God that you would help each one of us to remember those wonderful things that He poured into each one of us every day, that it would help us also to be great servants in this community and with our families and for you. And Father, today as we celebrate that, we also just celebrate a time of fellowship that Billy would have loved so much to be here with so many great people. We ask that you would help us to fellowship with each other, to love one another just as He loved us. And we ask, Lord, that as we gather together to eat today, that you would bless this food for our bodies, and our bodies as always for your service. Count a privilege to be here today. Again, Lord, just to, to thank you so much for such a wonderful, wonderful person that you imparted to each one of us. Thank you once again, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, we're going to talk about Billy O'Dell and the impact here on the O'Dell Corporation and on all the people that are gathered about today here. And I wanted to say that uh, many of you know this, but some don't. Billy finished college, took a job in Augusta, Georgia, working in finance, and his father was here running this company and became ill. And Billy had faced a dilemma. Do I continue on my career path do what I've always wanted to do, or do I go home, help my daddy, help the people that are working there, keep the business going, and let's see what happens. Well, guess what he chose to do? He did the right thing. He came home, got involved in his family's business with his father and with some people that are here today, even from back in, back in those times. And so that commitment then has allowed us to find ourselves here today in this big company with all these great people doing what we do and so that commitment I want to mention to you what that means to just a few people that are here today so I'm going to mention Bobby Morgan John Calhoun David Burkett Rhonda Chip Paul Shirley Brad that group collectively has worked here 285 years so, that commitment to everyone here was reciprocated by great loyalty, great service, great people. Bobby Morgan alone has worked here 49 years. Billy O'Dell taught him how to drive a car, stood with him, helped him learn how to run this business, manage the production, do the things that Bobby's always been so good at. and. It's just hard, that is so unusual and different in this world to have that sort of loyalty and service to a company from the people that work here as well as the man that came back to make sure they had a job and today all of us have a job. He's why we're here today picking up a check on Thursdays and being able to do what it is we do. So the why for that would be because how he was raised and the honor that was in him and what he was taught and how he felt about you know, faith, people, and family. 
The how was to get in here and work really hard to do things that we don't do anymore, to unload trucks by hand, to load trucks by hand, to all the accounting by hand, no computers, but was able to do it the right way and lead by the right example, and people wanted to do business with Odell then just like they do today. I was thinking about what I call Billy-isms. You know, things that Billy would say that were always hilarious, always poignant, and so I'm going to say a few of them. Now, some of you guys are going to recognize these, some aren't. This one, I hope everybody, well, the older serving employees will. How about this one? See the finger going? Billy O'Dell, Billy O'Dell, flirting with the women, flirting with the women. John Brown. John Brown. John Brown. It was great. This is one, one he would say, not to me often, but to the, more the, the team in the office, Rhonda's bunch and Bobby's bunch, and this would be going home in the afternoon. So he would say, I'm going to do something the devil won't do. Leave you all here. <laughs> Leave you alone. Um, how about this one? And this one had to, as much to do with politics as it did Odell. Billy, what's going on? What are you doing? Working for the people. Right. And he always did and did a great job of it. I think about things that he said to me. And a lot of you individual comments he made to you. And those are personal comments that will carry with us forever and cherish. cherish and and um, we'll keep those in our own hearts and, and be thankful for having known him. I thought this was funny. So, uh, so Chip and Paul O'Dell, back when they were really young, had to wear these headsets. And Bobby was talking to them all day long, telling them what to do, go do this, go do that. And they were running around doing all this hard work. And finally one day Chip became frustrated by it. And walked in Billy's office and said, I don't like it, Daddy, what am I doing? And Billy looked at him and said, son, you're a gopher. And Chip said, what's that mean? He said, it means you'd go for whatever Bobby tells you to go for. <laughs> so, it, um, and we're all been baptized by those, by those comments and by the, the uh, encouragement he gave us all and, and helped us uh, grow to where we, we have come today. And, and we're so thankful to be out here and to remember Billy and be thankful for his commitment that allows us to work today. I've got one more comment I'm going to make. It was made to me by a football coach years ago. And I was trying to create some consensus in a decision that needed to be made. And, the, um, and my comment was, what I'm looking for is a majority. And the comment back to me was this. One man with guts and courage is a majority, John. And Billy O'Dell was a majority. Let me tell you. He had guts and he had courage, and by golly, he was the majority. So we love him, we miss him, we're celebrating him today, though, and let's go eat lunch. Blues! Blues!